In this video, RF Transceiver Module NRF24L01 is used to enable two Arduinos to wirelessly communicate. The NRF24L01 module is a 2.4 GHz radio frequency transceiver with a baud rate ranging between 250 kilobits per second all the way to 2 megabits per second. It has up to six data pipelines per node, meaning that we could have six transmitters communicating with one receiver. It uses the SPI communication protocol, and it has operating voltage of 3.3 volts, and it is a low-cost, low-power wireless solution. In this first circuit, the NRF24L01 module is used as a transmitter and it is connected to this adapter. The adapter will accept 5 volt and it will generate regulated 3.3 volt to feed the module and to provide enough current for the transmitter. I recommend using the adapter when I try to supply the module directly with 3.3 volt from the Arduino I had some transmission issues. The adapter is interfaced with the Arduino using SPI connection, where the chip enable is connected to pin D10, the chip select knot is connected to D9, the clock is connected to D13, the master out slave input is connected to D11, and the master in slave output is connected to D12. We also have a 10K pot connected to analog line A0 of the Arduino. The pot will be used to control the blinking speed of an LED connected at the receiver side. This is the receiver circuit which is similar to the transmitter one. We have an LED here connected to pin D2 of the Arduino. The LED will blink based on control signals coming from the transmitter and the pot connected to the transmitter will be used to control the blinking speed of the LED. And now for a quick demonstration. Let's have a quick look at the transmitter sketch. We need to include the SPI library so that we enable the SPI protocol. And we need to include these two libraries so that we can uh, access the NRF24L01 module. We need to create this object radio and we need to indicate where the chip enable pin is connected on the Arduino and the chip select not pin. Next we create this uh, byte string called address which will contain the address of the receiver and the address is a five character string. Inside this setup function we initialize the RF module and then we open a data pipe between the transmitter and receiver by providing the address of the receiver and using this function here we are setting the power amplification of the transmitter to the minimum since the two modules are in proximity and in this function here stop listening we are uh, establishing that the uh, module here is a transmitter not a receiver inside the loop function we get the pot value and then we remap the value to a range between 100 and 1000 and then store this in this variable here. And then we use this variable as the argument of the delay function. And then we negate the uh, Boolean variable toggle. And then using this uh, function here, we send that uh, variable, which could be either true or false, to the receiver. And this is the sketch at the receiver side we include the same libraries as the transmitter one and we create the same object and we create the same address string which will have the same address defined in the transmitter inside the setter function we initialize the RF module 
we establish a data pipe between the transmitter and the receiver but here we're using function open reading pipe and this argument here represents the pipe number we could have up to uh, six pipes so from zero to five and here this is the address of the pipe between the transmitter and the receiver we set the power amplification of the module to the minimum and then we set the module to start listening meaning that it is now a receiver within the loop function we check whether we have data coming from the transmitter if so then we read the data and we store the data in this boolean variable toggle and then we check the value of toggle if the value is true then we turn on the LED otherwise if the value is false we turn off the LED and the process is repeated and we have a blinking LED the codes at the transmitter and at the receiver side have been modified so now we have here transceiver 1 and here we have transceiver 2 which means that each system is capable of transmitting and receiving data at the same time at the transceiver 1 side we have this 10k potentiometer is now is used to control the blinking speed of this LED at the transceiver 2 side and we have here a push button at the transceiver 2 side is used to control the on and off of this LED at the transceiver 1 side and now for a quick demonstration A quick look at the sketches for both transceiver 1 and transceiver 2. We need to define two addresses or two pipes for each transceiver. Since each transceiver will be transmitting and receiving data at the same time. Within the setup function of transceiver 1, we need to initialize the function open writing pipe and the destination address is address 1 which is the address of transceiver 2 and at the other end at transceiver 2 side we need to open reading pipe to this address likewise at transceiver 2 side we need to open writing pipe to a destination address 0 which is the address of transceiver 1 and at transceiver 1 side we will have open reading pipe to this address inside the loop function of transceiver 1 this part of the code represents the transmitter part while this part of the code represents the receiver part when the transceiver one is a transmitter it will take the boolean value of toggle which is controlled by the 10k potentiometer and it will send it to the transceiver 2 to control the blinking of the LED when transceiver one is a receiver it will wait for the status of the push button connected at transceiver 2 which is either on or off and use it to control the LED connected at transceiver 1 within the loop function of uh, transceiver 2 this part of the code represents the receiver while this part of the code represents the transmitter at the receiver side of the code the transceiver will uh, get the toggle value from uh, transceiver 1 and use it to uh, turn on and off the red LED at the transmitter side of the code the transceiver will read the status of the push button and then transmit it to transceiver 1 in a future video a wireless communication system based on the NRF 24L01 module will be implemented where three transmitters will be transmitting sensor data to a receiver.